Hello and welcome. Today we're working on how to do the same format for multiple sheets or the same formula in multiple sheets in Excel. Also a related topic, 3D formulas we'll do at the end on the summary tab. Hello, my name is Jeff from Finally Learn. We'll help you finally learn financial literacy, including all this good stuff in Excel. So let's get started. We have January through June and you see we have the names of salespeople. We have different regions of the country maybe. And then we have a summary and all of these are in the same cell so we can highlight all the the different sheets and then we can format them all together and do formulas all together so let's select january now you can select each one along the way using the control click or the command click if you're on mac or an easy way to do it is hold shift and go to the very end the last sheet and you see all these are now selected. So now we're doing not just one sheet at a time, but we're doing all seven sheets. So let's do a few things formatting. I'm gonna make the background here of the heading blue. So I need to make the font white and bold. And I'm gonna make all the numbers, make them dollars with zero decimal places. And then I'm gonna have at the bottom a total. So I need to do a top and double bottom border. So top line and double bottom un underline. So now they all look the same. So let's check out April and June and the summary. We now have better information. So we've knocked out the same format in multiple sheets. Anything you do, you could type a text or a number. Anything you do is going to be on multiple sheets. Now, the same idea. What if we do the same formula in multiple sheets? So, so for example, we always want to add up the north and the central and the south and then the totals and have a grand total here. Well, so once again, we need to select all the sheets. So January through the summary. And so what we can do is we can take each column and add it up. You know, that's the sum function or we can use the, the summation, the sum button up here. But if you'll highlight and give an extra row and an extra column at the end, then we can just hit the sum function and it all works together. So this is the sum of the north, this is the sum of Brett Spencer, and this is the grand total both to the left and uh, down in the bottom of the column. That's the total for the month of January. Now let me show you again, there's another way to do this. You can do a keyboard shortcut. Now Windows folks, you're on um, if you're on Windows, you do Alt and Equals, and that gives you the keyboard shortcut. I'm on a Mac. I'm going to do Command Shift T for total, and there you have it. It's a little bit faster than even hitting that button up here. So we've done the same format. We've done the same formula, and so you see June is correct, and the summary is correct, except for the numbers. Now, we're going to show you how to do what's called a 3D formula. Now. Excel doesn't call, us, call it this, it's just if you use multiple cells to make one, uh, multiple sheets rather, to make one formula, then, then people have started calling that a 3D formula. So it's the same thing as multiple sheets in a single formula. So for example, we need to take for Patrick Williams in the North region, we need to take all the January through June numbers. Now we could easily do that by saying equals and you point to that's uh, cell B2 in the January tab, in the February tab, in the March tab, that gets to be a long way to do it. So let me show you two ways. Both of them are really quick. And so the first one is, let's start with the, I'm going to start with the sum function. In fact, let me type this in. Do the uh, sum button, maybe. So the sum button here, if we'll start in B2, then it gives us equal sum and then uh, brackets open and close. So we're going to work on in between the brackets. We need to select January and then shift. So we'll select all the way through the through June. We've got January all the way through June. You see it there. And we hit equal enter and that will, number will equal. You see it says January it says the sum for January colon June exclamation point B2. So that's the sum of all the cells January through June, all six cells on different sheets. 
Now this formula becomes something we can copy down and we can copy it across. So that is a 3D formula. So this 302 is a combination of, you see it from January through June, all the way through. Okay, so that's one way of doing it. I think there's a slightly easier way of doing it. So let me get rid of what we just did. And so we can do a wildcard formula. And you see here, January through June. Now, we don't have to type that in. We can use a wildcard. The asterisk is one of the wildcard that we can use in a formula. So let's do this. Let's start with, I can do the sum. And so in the sum, I need to put this little string. I need a single quote. I need an asterisk, which is above the eight, another single quote, and a exclamation mark. Okay, so what happens is it's saying all the previous say, um, sheets, January through June, and you know this is B2, so we're gonna type in B2. I'm gonna hit enter, and look at what the formula does. It grabs January through June, B2. We can copy this down, and we can copy it across. And that's a 3D formula. That's the way you do the format for all the different sheets. You can do a formula for all the different sheets. And you can also do a 3D formula where you have one formula, but it relates to, in this case, six different sheets. Hey, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.